Hey everybody, this is Steve with Passive Total, and today we're going to walk through uh, a couple of different scenarios. Uh, we're going to look at uh, one of our new data sets, uh, the host pairs uh, data set within Passive Total, and see how that can be used to advance an investigation. Uh, and then we're going to pivot over to uh, Maltigo and show how some of the new Maltigo transforms around these data sets uh, can be used to quickly answer uh, questions about data and bring context to incidents. Uh, oftentimes I find that I, I really just want to know uh, the, the basics of, of an infrastructure. I want to know the enrichment portion, the tags uh, within Passive Total that provide context to the attack campaign I'm investigating. Uh, and so we're going to use uh, this antivirus.safetynote.xyz as an example. Uh, this was found in a, uh, a Risk IQ, uh, by Risk IQ, and it's a blacklist event. Uh, we can see it's associated with phishing. Uh, the heat map uh, within Passive Total gives you some context uh, that it's uh, it's fairly new infrastructure. It had some resolution uh, in uh, in January, uh, late December, early January, uh, but the majority of its resolution's been uh, through mid February uh, and on to today. Uh, and so uh, the real question here is: we we know it's obviously malicious. There's malware associated with it, but we want to know how large uh, of an attack campaign this is. Uh, and we see here we have 38 host pair associations. Uh, so we can click into this data set and see parent-child relationships. Uh, basically what domains were, uh, were redirecting to antivirus.safetynote.xyz, but also what uh, domains antivirus.safetynote.xyz redirected uh, visitors to. Uh, and so as we go through, we see the first time we saw the redirection, the last time, uh, the type of, uh, of direction and the cause, uh, iframe. Uh, redirect, top level redirect. Uh, what we see right off the bat is we've got some suspicious infrastructure here. Uh, we've got a lot of these .om domains, uh, which are clearly typo squatting some legitimate brands. And we got Toys R Us, uh, .om, United, uh, Tumblr, WhatsApp, uh, a lot of different things. Uh, and so, you know, we can go through this list and click each entity one by one and start to uh, start to investigate uh, and get context. Uh, but, you know, that's a, that's, that's a, a lot of work to, to dig through. Uh, you know, so we could go over to Adobe. Uh, and say, you know, what do we know about this, uh, this piece of infrastructure, adobe.om. We pull it back, uh, we get additional host pairs, components, some resolution information, uh, not resolving uh, anymore, last seen uh, March 23rd. Uh, we see that it's associated with a phishing event. Uh, so we have a lot of, uh, we have some additional context. What we really want to know is, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the entire attack campaign. We want this context for all those events uh, in this list. Uh, and so, you know, uh, one way we started to, to try to deal with this, uh, this large uh, set of data uh, is to create Maltigo uh, transforms and also Maltigo machines to, to make it easier for analysts to interact with. So I'm going to pivot over to Maltigo. Uh, we can see here we have antivirus.safetynote.xyz. Uh, we could go through and start, you know, interrogating uh, the domain and pulling things. Uh, we could pull, uh, you know, child pairs, parent pairs, uh, enrichment. Uh, and get all that data back and, and start to prune and, and sift through the data set. Uh, but you know, that takes a lot of effort. So uh, we decided to go ahead and create some machines that do this for you. Uh, and so you can see in my run view, uh, we have a, a child uh, pair uh, enrichment machine and a parent pair enrichment machine. Uh, and so what these do is they go and they grab the associations uh, from passive total, uh, plot them, enrich those, and then prune off the unwanted data. Uh, and so we can start by saying, you know, let's see everything that has been redirecting to antivirus.safetynote.com. Uh, we can run uh, this machine, uh, pull, a, pull a bunch of data, uh, and when we uh, bring it back together, what we see is we have that enrichment that we want right off the bat. Uh, we can see that uh, it appears that, uh, you know, these domains and this IP address were redirecting to antivirus.safetynote.xyz at some point. Uh, we can see that both the, uh, this IP address, this uh, 104 IP address, uh, and, and this track uh, domain uh, have associations with malware. Uh, we have a Rackspace IP address, uh, and we have these other unknown entities uh, that were also seen redirecting uh, to antivirus.safetynote.xyz. Uh, the next step could be show me uh, everything that antivirus.safetynote uh, was redirecting to. So we could come over here and do child pairs uh, with transforms, uh, but then we'd have to go through that whole process of getting enrichment. So instead, we're going to come to our machines, uh, and now we're going to run our child pair enrichment machine. And so we run that, and we're bringing additional context in. You see right off the bat, we're pulling. Uh, there's 36 uh, entity associations. Uh, a lot's going on here. Maltigo's breaking it all down. Uh, and when we, when we fit that view back together, 
uh, we see that we have a lot of additional information. Uh, so we have our, our two parent redirects, but now we have a, a, ho a handful of uh, child redirects as well. We have the adobe.om uh, redirect, uh, as we saw on the platform. Uh, it has that blacklist information. Uh, we also have areasnap.com, which is associated with malware. Uh, trkur.com, which is associated uh, with malware. And uh, we see a redirect uh, from, from fa to Facebook as well. Uh, obviously, Facebook, being a major organization, uh, has some associations at times to malware. Uh, in this case, uh, it's most likely uh, from a you know malvertising campaign or something that Risk IQ saw. Uh, so from here, we want additional context. Uh, and so maybe we want to know everything that ever redirected to adobe.om, because clearly this is a part of this larger attack campaign. Uh, we can again uh, run a parent enrichment pair uh, and start to get that context. And, and what you're seeing here is uh, we're easily able to grab a significant amount of data via transform and have these Maltigo machines prune the unwanted information, making it a lot easier to, to consume the data uh, as an analyst. And so now, again, we ran all those transforms, uh, and what we have here uh, is we, we can see, and I'm going to zoom in for you, uh, and we can see that we have uh, a lot of different uh, domains that are associated with some malicious activity. Uh, we have av.securityalert.xyz, uh, which is on our blacklist. We have uh, freegiveaways.cm.xyz, uh, uh, also associated with phishing and on our blacklist. Uh, and so, you know, we've quickly been able to grab a significant amount of infrastructure that's associated with this attack campaign and get a, a lot larger picture of, uh, of what's going on. Uh, and so starting from that one domain, uh, using these enrichment machines, we're able to quickly pull entities and associations, enrich them, uh, and now take them and, and proactively monitor or block for them. Uh, and so we've really expanded our knowledge of, uh, of the attack surface. Uh, as always, uh, if there are any questions uh, with, uh, with what we've shown today, please feel free to reach out to us at feedback uh, at passivetotal.org. Uh, always appreciate analysts' comments, uh, and thanks for their time.